Hi everyone. Um, so the plan today is to do a quick review of these um, Shimano Infinium insulated gloves. Um, quick disclosure, I didn't buy these. They were actually a birthday present from my neighbours. Isn't it good to have good neighbours? So, um, you know, smash like if you've got good neighbours. Okay, great. So, um, like I say, the Shimano cycling gloves, um, I believe they got them from Decathlon. They are rated for zero to five degrees centigrade. That's 32 to 41 Fahrenheit. They have all sorts of uh, proprietary technologies made in Vietnam. This is actually, by the way, the packaging. Um, so these cords here go through the holes here, and that is the packaging. Okay, so we have Gore-Tex, we have Panon, or Panon XRD, um, that's basically the impact protection you see here, which we'll talk about more in a moment. Um, you have AX Suede. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these gloves and I'm going to compare them to these Ultura gloves, which were my previous sort of winter cycling gloves. Okay. So let's start with the Shimano's. Um, their gloves, they go on your hands, right? And um, there's not too much to explain. They are super comfortable. I like the fact they've got Velcro strap. I've mentioned this before in other videos. I like gloves with Velcro straps. I like the fact you've got the reflective hit on the Gore-Tex. That's nice. Um, even though they are heavy sort of winter gloves, the insulation's actually quite thin, especially when you compare it to my Ultura previous gloves. The insulation here is like kind of thick. I think it might even be 3M. Whereas with the Shimano's, um, it's nice and thin. Um, the, the outside of the thumbs actually seems to be the thickest part of insulation, which works wonderfully. Yeah, these keep your hands warm, they're good. Um, there is also suede all the way on the bottom of the palm, whereas if you look at these Altura, Altura um, they have these sort of suede patches here, here and on the fingers, but they do not have the whole bottom of the suede. So that's nice. Uh, you've obviously got the high vis um, for cycling in sort of low light conditions, which is great. Nice little pattern on the back as well. The gloves are um, suitable for use with mobile phones, so you can use your mobile phone, touchscreen, etc., with the gloves on. Um, okay, so what they like, they're great, um, they're really comfortable, as I've said, they fit really nicely, they're really warm, the suede feels great, um, this high sort of impact pad is good, there might be a little bit of blurb around that here. Feel the intensity of the sport, not the impact. Extreme impact protection. There you go. Haven't taken any extreme hits with it yet, but zero complaints so far. Um, engineered to absorb maximum shock, hit after hit. Proven to absorb 90% of the most extreme impacts, while maintaining 98% of the original performance. Designed to be lightweight and comfortable. Yeah, look, I guess it's like a DFRO style thing. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, again, the Gore-Tex Windstopper. Um, winds have been super strong around here recently. Um, so I've been cycling in sort of strong winds. Also, the temperatures have been, you know, around the zero to five degrees Celsius. So I have zero complaints about these gloves. And I don't think anything claimed, you can see they're a little bit dirty because I've been riding in them. Um, I don't think Anything claimed on the website is incorrect. If you have any reason to sort of distrust the description that you read on the website, and um, what, what they tell you is what you're gonna get, is what you get, okay? Okay, thanks for watching.